What up, stubborn ones? Hope you're doing amazing. Hope you're out there making it happen and smashing. That's right, baby. I'm back. As you can tell from the title and thumbnail, <laughs> your boy almost didn't make it. <laughs> but I'm here. I can never leave you. How could I leave you? I can never leave you. Did you miss me? I missed you. So I want to make a quick video on what happened. This was no April Fool's joke. A lot of y'all didn't even know it happened, but just the closest one to me. But a lot of people care, so I gotta make this video. Give you a little update on the cars. Give you a little update on what's on my mind for the future for the channel. Because the show must go on, it's 2022, and we gotta make it happen. Smash some goals. Update number one, I'm super excited about this one. Before I get to the story of what happened, GoPro. Oh yeah, that's right. With this GoPro, we're gonna make some magic, baby. That means we're gonna go driving. We're gonna get some POVs of riding around in Glowzilla. Maybe the BMW, maybe the Ugly Duckling. We're gonna get some scenic driving videos. I'm very excited for this one. Whenever I figure out how to get it mounted and all that craziness, definitely gonna make something happen with this one. So, I was at work, working diligently, and then all of a sudden I get this crazy stomach. It felt like a, the baddest cramp ever. So if that's how, you know, that time of the month cramps feel for the ladies, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that that's how it feels. It's crazy. It's the worst stomach pain I've ever had. Never had nothing like this. So, you know... <laughs> I clock out to go to the bathroom. Nah, I'm just kidding. We don't need to do that at my job. That'd be crazy. I'd quit if they made me do that. So it feels like I have to go to the bathroom. So I go. But nothing happens. And the pain gets even worse. Oh my God. And this was around lunchtime. I work till about... I, I don't get home till like 5.30. So pain keeps getting worse. By the time I get home, the pain is outrageous. Can't handle it. And I don't complain about pain or anything like that. I don't really go to the doctors either. So I was holding off like a dumbass. <laughs> I don't usually go to the doctors. I don't usually complain about pain. I let it go. I missed Danny's game because I was like, you know what? I think I just have to go to the bathroom, but I can't. So if I'm uncomfortable, I might as well be uncomfortable in my house. I'm just gonna chill out. I missed Danny's baseball game. He had a great game, by the way. So, sleep it off. Try to sleep it off. All right. Can't sleep. <laughs> Everything's terrible. I can't get comfortable. My stomach is dying. Of course, I tell my parents, you know, they say go to a doctor. I'm like, nah, I don't need, I don't need to go to the doctor. I don't, I don't need, I just need to, I just need to sleep it off. I just need to drink water. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But, of course, the next day, I woke up feeling terrible. My stomach felt like <laughs> worst pain ever. Whatever, I called out. All right, I'm not going to work. Tired, feeling like this again. So, all right, whatever. time goes on. Finally, you know, I, I listen. I listen. I go to the doctor. All right, I can't take it anymore. And I didn't have an appetite. I just felt like I had to go to the bathroom, but I couldn't. And every time I tried, the pain got worse. I had no appetite, I hadn't eaten since lunch. I wasn't thirsty, I wasn't anything. I wasn't even nauseous at the time, I just, it was just stomach pain. The stomach pain was right around the, uh, you know, the belly button area, the middle, middle of my stomach, a little bit to the right. So, I stop ignoring it, I go to the emergency room. Big, big, huge shout out to everybody that works at that emergency room. They're freaking awesome. Little small emergency room right there by my house. Freaking awesome. The nurses, everyone, the whole staff. I gotta thank everyone there. I gotta thank all y'all so much. You guys are so professional. I didn't have to wait forever. The doctor saw me right away. Right away, they kinda knew what it was. Um, WebMD said I was dead pretty much, so I was already online shopping for my casket. <laughs> you know how WebMD is. After the blood work, 
and after the CT scan, um, you know, results come back. They already know what it is. I like that the doctor came in cool, like, you know, hey, hey, guess what? You have appendicitis. Ha <laughs> ha. Cool. It's okay. We're going to take care of it. That kind of put my mind at ease. I've never had surgery before. I'm not going to lie. This is my first time, but I was all right. I was cool. I wasn't stressing. I was in pain and I was ready to get it over with. But next, you know, they started prepping me. They started hooking me up to the IVs and the, you know, the uh, salines and antibiotics and everything. And I swear to you, I got so freaking cold. I've started shivering. Like, is it spring yet? I've never been this cold. I'm so cold that I'm shivering. <laughs> Literally, I am not exaggerating. I could not stop shivering. Tried to go to the bathroom and I was just on my way there. I, I, I couldn't even stop. I'm so cold that I'm shivering. It was crazy. I thought that was the end. I ain't gonna lie. I thought I wasn't gonna make it. <laughs> I hate the cold. That's why I don't live in a cold state. I live the furthest thing away from the cold state. Nevertheless, they give me some, uh, something, I don't know, whatever. They give me some stuff, you know, I threw up. Then, you know, then I started feeling all right. Started stabilizing. Still a little cold, but whatever. Got better. Got prepped. They put me on an ambulance to take me over to the bigger hospital, which, man. Shout out to them guys. Oh my goodness. So professional. So nice. Oh man, all these guys just, everyone that does what these people do, man, thank you. You know, all the public, what do you call it? Public service? Public service uh, providers or something like that. You know what I'm talking about. Those guys. The ambulance, the nurses, the doctors, the, the, the firefighters, all of you guys. Freaking awesome military folk. Shout out to you guys. Thank you for everything you do. Thank you for being so freaking, I hope they watch it. I don't know if they're going to, but hopefully they do. You know, that'd be great. Because from the bottom of my heart, I gotta thank y'all. Literally saved my life. And the reason I say literally saved my life is because my dumb ass waited, so my appendix had bursted. <laughs> and so, you know, if I would've waited any longer, I probably would've died for real. <laughs> That's so dumb. So if you have any little aches or whatever don't try to be a hero just go to a doctor that's what they're there for and of course i gotta thank my old lady for being there for literally being next to me the whole time taking care of me make sure that i'm good the surgery went great shout out to that doctor i gotta go back and see him in about uh next week i don't remember i'm still i'm not 100 percent. i'm not gonna lie but i'm doing a lot better than before and i'm here now a quick update on the vehicles if you're new to the channel, this is my 1991 Nissan R32 GTR. You already know, subscribe. More content on the way. When this channel gets a thousand subscribers, this engine's gonna get a major overhaul. And there's something wrong with it, so I haven't driven it in a little bit, but that's gonna change soon. A thousand subscribers is all I need. I have a couple of videos on the way. I've been doing some work on the 2007 Pontiac G5. There's stuff right now that you can't even notice, but once the video comes out, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, I see it. More to come on that. I have plans to start working on the 3 Series. I want to make it look better again because it deserves better. Another big update to the channel is that I have another car on the way. I have another car in sight. Not on the way yet because I'm waiting on some paperwork to go through from a buddy of mine. But this car is going to, I don't want to say too much in case it doesn't happen. But it's gonna happen, and you guys are gonna love it. It's gonna be a nice little addition to the fleet. So if this is your first time stopping by the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. Stick around because a lot of content is coming this way to this channel. Channel's getting better. Every video's getting better. The quality's getting better. The ideas are getting bigger. It's gonna be a good year. So make sure you hit that notification bell so you be part of the Naughty Gang. So every time that I drop new content, you don't miss out on my goofball shenanigans. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you as always for your support. I love you. You love me. We're one great big family. I hope I don't get copyrighted for that. See you on the next one. Peace out.